Hi guys, welcome to this session on Microsoft PowerPoint. In this module, I want to show you how you can have one file with multiple presentations within it. So on the screen, I've got the finished article and then I'll go through how I created it. So first of all, if I put this into full screen, when I press enter, so this is my welcoming screen, I have a bit of music playing. The music will stop when I press enter, but I'll do that for you later. But if I press enter, the curtains open and it reveals my first slide. So what I've done, I've created custom shows for each of these departments, finance, training and marketing. So if I click on the finance department, I will go through the finance department. So it's showing a hierarchy there and then a couple of bullet lists like so and then it comes back to this front screen then the same thing for the training department if i press enter on that one it'll just go through the different elements of the training department and then a few bullet lists and then lastly the marketing department exactly the same thing going through like so and then when it's finished back to this front slide so what I've got in this file, guys, is on the first slide, I have a picture with my logo and welcome. You saw that open up. So that opened up because on the second slide, if I go to transitions, I've got this option selected curtains. And then the rest of the slides are selected to dissolve in and out. So there's just a picture there of a curtain, which I got from the office um, pictures. So I'll go into insert pictures, so stock images, that's where I got it from. I'll do that in a second. And then what you've got is the logos, just another picture. And then on each of these, I have a hyperlink. If I go to insert link, go into a custom show. Three custom shows for each department, finance, training and marketing. And each one is just going to come back to this first slide, this slide. That's what I've got on there. And the custom shows themselves, if I go to slideshow and go to custom shows, if I find it, they're the three that I've done. And if I go into here and edit one, you can see what I've done. I've just added the finance slides over for this one. It's called finance. So there's just two slides in each one, like so. Now, the other thing I've got is down this left-hand side, I've created sections. If I close that off, I've created sections, finance, training and marketing so you can manipulate each one of these separately so within each section you can do different things you can move things up and down collapse it all as i've just done but it just makes it easy when you've got things in sections so the slides that are relevant to that title are in that section so what i'll do is i'll create this blank for, from scratch so i won't put all this text in but i'll do the actual diagram so you can see how it works so Control M for new. So the title slide is just going to have a picture on it. So insert picture from stock images. And I want a curtain. So if I just type curtain. Hopefully it comes up. That's the one that'll do. Insert that picture. Now I want that to be the full size of this. So I'm just going to widen that sitting on top of my logo hiding out of the way so i want to put my logo on top of that so again it's insert pictures this time this device and my logo and that's too big so i'll make that a lot smaller obviously you can play around with the size and everything make sure it's exactly centered i'm not too fussed in this little demonstration and i also had a text box with the words welcome in it or the word welcome so I'll just type welcome, change the font so it's a lot bigger than that. I want that to be 48, I want it centered. I need to change the color to white or something like so. And then you position both of those and then you're ready to do your first slide. So this first slide, I want a diagram from the smart art gallery and it's under pictures and I think it's down the bottom left 
that's the one I want. So just double click on there and then I can add photos in here or add some text. I'll just put a random photo from stock images. Um, I'll just put people. Um, that one will do. And then didn't insert it. Yes, it did a bit late. So I'll do another one. Um, people. That one on icons, I don't want that one. Stock images. She'll do. And then last one. So obviously if you've got your own photos, which I had on mine, um, you can select one of those and she'll do. So these are my um, directors, if you like, and then you've got the three sections so finance, training, and marketing. Now I need to create a new slide, but now I want a section. So this is going to be the finance section. So add section, and it's going to be called finance. Rename that. So this is a finance and I want two slides in that finance. So the first one is going to be another graphic, but this time it's going to be an organizational chart, which I won't fill in. So just leave it like that. And then this one is just going to be, in fact, I need that to be finance as well. That's title. This one's just going to be text. So I'll just type some random text. Just giving the title like so. Now, new slide, and now this next one, and in another section, so section, add section, this is going to be training. Rename that. and So I want two slides in training as well, so a diagram hierarchy, that one, and then some text, and that needs to say training, and then some random text for this, and title on that one. And then the last section is going to be marketing. So I'll create another slide, add another section, call it marketing, and rename that, and then repeat the process. Give myself a hierarchy diagram, call this marketing, and one last slide, marketing text, and some random text like so. So that's your slides created. And now we want to create some custom shows. So we go up to the slideshow tab and custom shows. There aren't any on this file. And we want three custom shows. We want one called finance. And we add the finance slides, add, and then okay to that one. And then new training. And we add the training slides. Training. That's why I had to put the title on so you could see them in this. Okay. And then the last one is marketing. Marketing, add those two slides across. Don't know why I've left that on there. So those are those custom shows. Don't need to use them yet. Now we need to go to this slide and create the hyperlinks. So this is going to be a hyperlink. So I'll go up to the insert tab link and down the bottom there you've got your custom shows so it's on place in this document so it's finance and return to this slide okay and then you do in another two so it's on this one link to training return okay and this one is link to marketing and return, click in return, show and return. Okay. So if we just check this slide, if we go into full screen on this slide, click it, it should just show finance and then come back and it does. So we've got that working, fine. So we've got our sections, we've got our links. So the only thing to look at is this front slide and the transition on it. So at the moment, if I click on full screen, then press enter, it just, there's no transition there at all. So what I need on this second slide 
is the transition of curtain. So I need to find curtain in this list. And uh, there it is, curtain. And you've got a little preview there. But if I put that back onto the first slide and now press enter, the curtains open up like so. And that presents that first slide. And the rest of them, I'm just going to click on these slides and hold my shift key down. I want the rest of them to dissolve in. So that's going to be dissolve there. Next, I want to do some animation on these diagrams. So let's click on these, go to the animations and I'll activate the animation pane because I want these to, to dissolve in. And dissolve is not on these, so I need to go to more entrance effects and then dissolve in. Okay, and the text wants to do the same. I want that to dissolve in. So add animation, dissolve in. And then I need to do that on all the rest, but I'm not going to go through all of these and do that. Each one needs to be animated. What I do want to do is on this one, and this would be repeated in the more. If you're going to do multiple animations like I want to do here, you want to go into Slide Master and do that. But on this animation that I've set up there, I want to set this up so it comes in uh, one box at a time. So Effect Options, and then you've got the Animation option at the top there. Change that level by level or by level one by one. OK to that, and then you can see it's going to come in on mouse clicks like so. So that's the animation. And you would put that through all the slides. And then the last thing is you want to pick a design. If you've got a corporate design, that's great. But I'm just going to pick this one. And then that gives that color all the way through. Now to put music on this front slide, what you need to do is on the on the transition tab, you go for music and you can put in there from other sound, you can put in whatever you want. So I'm going to put in the blue Danube and then that will play all the way through slide what you want to happen then is on the next slide you want that music to stop so stop previous sound like so so when you're on the first slide and people are coming in um, that needs to be made white when people are coming in the music is playing so when you want to go you just press enter the music will stop and then everybody will look up that's the idea, and then it's your job to catch their attention with your opening few words. Um, it does work, so you can either do music or you can have a little video playing on this slide, and then when you press enter, not only does the music stop, but in this case, the curtains open as well, and it reveals your first slide, like so. So that's all I want to talk about on this session. What we've looked at is custom shows, how to create sections, how to animate, how to create hyperlinks to custom shows and also how to do transition with sound for an opening slide and the transition on this option was curtains. So hopefully you've found that useful and I'll see you on the next one. Thank you for your time.